Hey there, Alan Matthews from classicalguitarshed.com over here. And what if there was a practice skill, something you could add to your practice that would keep you more engaged, help you have even more fun in your practice, make your performances better, and ultimately make everything you do sound better? What would it be and would you do it? We'll talk more about it in just a second. So what is this practice skill that makes everything so much better? The answer is curiosity. Whenever we're curious, our mind perks up, we start paying attention. And how do we train this? How do we get curiosity into our daily practice? And how do we make it into a habit in just a natural way that we are? How do we become more curious? And the way is to ask open-ended questions. Instead of just yes or no questions, am I playing the right note, yes or no? If that's your question, your music's gonna be very boring, even if it's perfect and you've got the right rhythm and the right note. If that's all you're asking, it's gonna be pretty lame. It'll be precise, it'll be correct, but it won't be good. It won't touch people emotionally, it won't touch you emotionally, it'll be dry. And so then an open-ended question that you could ask would be, how lush can I play this note? How beautifully can I play this? What would this feel like if it were easy to play? What would this feel like if Andre Segovia was playing it? How would it feel like if Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was playing it? Just whatever it happens to be. Like how would these different characters, what if Daffy Duck was playing it? What would it sound like then? Well, we can play with that and there's no one correct answer. And that's the beauty of open-ended questions is that there is no one specific answer that's going to answer it. And so our mind starts churning on this and we start looking for different ways. We start being more creative, and we start opening ourselves to different possibilities. So one of the prerequisites of curiosity is that we have to release the need to know the answer. To be curious, we have to admit that we don't know the answer. And so if we know everything, we're gonna learn nothing. So if we wanna to continue to learn and explore and have more fun, we have to put that knowing aside and be the eternal beginner, the eternal student, and say, well, maybe I don't know the answer. Yes, I've been doing this for 50 years, but maybe I don't know the answer. What if it was some other way? And how, what way would that be? Well, what if Yo-Yo Ma was playing this? Would he, what would he do differently than a guitarist would do? These are great questions to ask because it gets us thinking outside the box and get us to come to our music fresh and new and just more exploratory. So to build this habit, we just have to do it. We have to make a habit of asking some open-ended questions in all of our practice or even away from our practice. When we're sitting in the car waiting on the red light, we can ask a question. Hmm, what would it be like if dot, dot, dot? Or how would dot, dot, dot? Or what if dot, dot, dot? So in truth, ain't nothing to it but to do it. It's just a matter of asking questions, looking for answers, trying things, experimenting. In our music, if we're learning a, a little passage, what, whatever that happens to be, We'll play it 15 different ways, play it 50 different ways. Accent this note, accent that note, bring it louder here, bring it softer here, and just try different things and say, what happens then? Does that sound good? What if I did it this way? These questions will constantly enable us to grow and get better. It also builds technique because to do these things, we have to use our hands, right? And that means that our ability to play will skyrocket. And even more, our ability to conceive of something and render it, actually play it and make it come out, will get better. And that is the ultimate definition of technique, is being able to do whatever we want to do and having good ideas is the next step and having something that we want to do to put this technique to use. So curiosity, such good stuff. Enjoy it in your practice. Please subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Ciao.